Task number nine, classic quizzes versus new quizzes, Canvas Academy, level one. Canvas currently has two quiz engines, classic quizzes and new quizzes. To create a new quiz, select the quizzes menu from the course navigation. Then select the blue plus quiz button. For the time being, if you need security from third-party tools, SpeedGrader, or CSVs for student response analysis, Classic Quizzes is the better choice. However, eventually Classic Quizzes will no longer be supported. New Quizzes is the best option moving forward. It also has a lot more question types like Hotspot, Categorization, Matching, and Ordering. It has more moderation and accommodation features as well. When you select your quiz type, you can have it remember your choice so that next time it will automatically create a classic or new quiz. Our suggestion is to select new quiz and then tell it to remember your choice. That way, you won't have to migrate as many classic quizzes to new quizzes when classic quizzes are no longer supported. You can easily reset this from the quiz menu. To reset your choice, just select the three dots, then scroll down to Reset Quiz Engine Choice. An upcoming video will show you how to migrate classic quizzes to new quizzes. An easy way to tell if you are looking at a classic quiz or a new quiz is to look at the icon. If the icon is outlined, you're looking at a classic quiz. If it's solid, you're looking at a new quiz. Now let's take a look at a classic quiz compared to a new quiz. To edit a classic quiz that you've already started, just click on the classic quiz to open it, then select edit. From here you will see the details, questions, and mastery paths. Start by giving your quiz a title. Then, as usual, put your directions in the rich content editor. Include images, embed videos, and more. When you scroll down, you can change the settings. You can determine what type of quiz, what assignment group, the different quiz options, quiz restrictions, and finally, who you're going to assign it to. Then come back up and select the Questions tab. This is where you will add your new question, new question group, or you can search from questions that are in this course in other quizzes. When I add a new question, I can write my directions here and select my question type up at the top. You can also modify the point value and select the correct answers in the space below. Then select Update Question. Now let's take a look at a sample new quiz. In new quizzes, you'll see that you only have details and mastery paths. Go ahead and give your quiz a title, give it the point value and assignment group, how you want to display the grade, and choose the other settings, and then select Build. New Quizzes has a much more robust interface. You can see the tabs at the top include Build, Settings, Reports, and Moderate. In the Build tab, this is where you're going to include, again, the title of your quiz, some more instructions, and this is where you're going to add your question types. When I select the plus sign to add question types, you can see that there are different question options. Some of these questions are much more rigorous and are a lot more like what you'll see on STAR tests in the future. We definitely encourage using new quizzes over classic quizzes. You can also select the settings from here. Take a look at the different reports, and you can moderate the quizzes for students. This might include giving extra time for students who need that adjustment.